I'm joined now by Dr. Ismail Sezgin. He's the director of the Centre for Hizmet Studies in London, a follower of Mr. Gulen, an academic who's done extensive research about the Hizmet uh, movement. Um, Dr. Sezgin, um, Fethullah Gulen has denied uh, involvement, and yet we were speaking to a senior member of the AK Party earlier in the programme who said that the government has documentary evidence uh, recovered from those who've been arrested, which uh, shows uh, Gulen's involvement. Uh, well, uh, first of all, thank you, Julian, for hosting me in this uh, news hour. Uh, it's very important to give at least the other side of the story as well. Uh, I am, you know, personally watching this story since it's unfolded yesterday, and it, it was a hor horrible e event what happened and, and, and aftermath. I, I was all worried about my family back in Turkey, and they're all fine. So, But uh, politically, you know, if you talk to that AK Party senior member, let's say six months ago or 12 months ago, about any, any anything related that going wrong in Turkey, they would still say that is the parallel state. That's why it's happening. And sometimes it can be when BBC and CNN were broadcasting news about Gezi Park, uh, it was parallel state who actually made you pull your strings and do that. Sort of so anything goes wrong in Turkey is is being last three years explained by the theory of parallel state, which are all able, all uh, magnificent, can do everything in the world. Sort of so. It can, doesn't can, can I just can I just interrupt you there and just sort of clarify a, a couple of things? Firstly, are there supporters of uh, Mr. Gulen in the armed forces in the judiciary? I mean, is is that a fact? Yes, that is a fact, and that, you know, like Gulen supporters are um, teachers, doctors, you know, judges and police and all around. But there is no evidence yet unfolded that they are actually doing something out of their job description and, and following a, 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 another line of order or anything. It's been claimed last three years, but there hasn't been any any arrest, you know, like or, or judgment sentence has passed down by a court. So, so the, Gulenists, like a, a, the Gulenists don't want to run Turkey. They have no desire to exercise power in Turkey. Uh, no, they want to contribute to democracy and what democracy has opened to, to them. The, the main thing in here is why we always hear about Gulen, but not, not other religious scholars, is because Gulen actually... Uh, call people to 30, 40 years ago to invest on in education rather than mosques and madrasas. So which means like many students have been, f have found chances to educate in a better uh, situation. Poor people have had chance to uh, educate themselves. And, and this, you know, the social mobility from periphery to center has had an influence on bureaucracy, business and different places. Many Many uh, people who are unfortunate backgrounds are able to actually graduate from universities and get, get a job. Okay. It's had an impact, you know. Dr. Sezgin, many thanks for that. Dr. Ismail Sezgin, director of the Centre of Hezmet Studies in London, a follower of uh, Fethullah Gulen and uh, academic.